my question for you today is surviving social media do you need to stay away from social media i know it's kind of paradoxical but we're gonna get right into it So, um, as you know, I've been on YouTube for quite a while now. When I started off, YouTube was this big old family and the beauty community was like low prod, like low production. It was, it was really nice. It was like even easier to, to talk to the bigger YouTubers and people were way more attainable. This is the amazing part of social media, like it connects you to amazing people and I can say this without a doubt, I've made some really, really, really uh, dope friends. That was the beauty of it all, but now it's a business. When you scroll through, there's like paid partnerships and there's like ads and it's... It can be overwhelming and at a point in time I wasn't constant because I was like okay my stuff is never gonna be as good as so and so I kept on like comparing myself to so and so and the thing is this whole social media thing it is so easy to get caught up in it and I have been a victim because I, I think you become a kind of a victim to social media you may or may not like the word but that's the best way to explain the point I'm trying to put across but yeah so I got caught up in it and it wasn't pretty and it was like whoa okay so there's this whole new cool tool that's that's meant to you know make you be part of something but then you end up and i feel um like for both guys and you know for both guys and girls it's i feel like the pressure is different it is there on both ends no doubt about it but i feel that on like girls part is like way more the looks the this the that the outfits the Gucci and you're just like okay well why am I not like you know I don't know Sally Sue from you know Tokyo who's like living her best life and going to Vietnam and going to to Bali and you know and then you think about it and you're just like whoa I like I'm caught up in this and some don't always realize it and then it just takes part of you and you just become sad for no reason you, you hear a lot about this term called burnout you hear a lot of creators saying like I'm burnt out and burnt out and I think a lot of it stems from this whole like social media thing of being present constantly and I think that was one of my biggest troubles with social media in general was I felt the need to always bring out content always be present always share what I was doing and I know a lot of you might be in the comments be like you know that's that's you you have to just like distance yourself from it and and I'm like yeah it's it's easier said than done especially when you're into it it's on the palm of your hands how can you not be absorbed into it you know so social media had a huge impact on my life negatively but it also had a huge positive impact on my life as well because i want to say starting 2017 mid 2016 i feel that that's when body positivity loving your curves being plus i feel that that's when the era of i want to call it the era of the ashley grahams came out and it was like yo you know on your cellulite on your curves like having that again in the palm of your hands seeing it and seeing them and just even reading the comments oh my god you're so stunning i feel i can i can relate i'm this you know like there's that part that's like whoa okay social media has done that for me and i do acknowledge it i remember being younger and a social ed class or stuff like that they'll be like the impact of music on our youth the impact of movies on our youth and i was just like Ugh, you know i rolled nothing is impacting anyone you're just making a whole fuss it's just like it's just a music video it's just a movie it's just now that i'm older i'm like no it's not just it it does have an impact when you you have certain certain insecurities and you've been told all your life by you know beauty standards or whatever that um, you are not the norm it's like full 360 and you have like social media models or just plain old like supermodels 
who are plus and who are represented you're just like yeah finally and i do feel that in many ways youtube but i want to say most especially instagram has had this social impact on the world so to speak so there is a positive and there is a negative now how did i come to this whole is taking a break from social media the way to survive social media i personally think that it is made it a point to distance myself and check myself and it's not something easy to do and it's not something you realize du jour au lendemain night and day like no 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 that's not how it works it took me realizing like yo this this whole instagram thing this snapchat thing this whole like face like this this whole you gotta be aware of what i'm doing every single minute at some point it's like well i don't feel like i have anything interesting happening in my life what do i have to share then you just you know share random stuff yeah but is it quality content no 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 definitely not so then i sat myself down i was like yo sis you're gonna need to put your sanity first before all this whole social media thing so you can then come back and you know have better quality things to talk about because you yourself are at peace and you don't feel like you're being forced you see so I'm sharing this with you guys just to say it's okay not to be on 24-7. <laughs> it's okay to miss a post it's okay to not post every second of every minute it's okay i'm not uh, am i gonna come and kill myself over this no i'm not because when you think about it like really really think about it in the long run right now i'm 27 in 10 years how important is all this going to be you know just let that sit. Honestly, when you think about social media, like let's just call it as it is. Social media are kind of like the sirens in Ulysses. Do you, do you know that like Greek story about Ulysses who was like, he was called in by the sirens and he was there and he thought he was only there for three years, but he happened to be there for like 10 years or something like that. That's exactly how social media works that's how instagram works that's how twitter works you can see it in your algorithm the more you post the more likely you are to be seen just like youtube the the more you comment the more you interact the more you're likely to be seen and to get that engagement and yada 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 and it's basically like the sirens in ulysses 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 i don't know how you say it in english you know what i mean are you going to be like ulysses crew and fall to the to the songs of the sirens calling your name and saying stay and be active constantly or are you gonna you know <laughs> live like in real life i guess it's all about finding the right balance that's what i'm trying to say in this whole, <laughs> this whole rambling thing just you have to find the balance because it's not all negative and it's definitely not all positive and you have to just put it aside <laughs> that's 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 basically where i'm coming at with this whole thing like there comes a time where you have to put it aside and i know that a lot because i talk with a lot of other people who is into the whole like youtube and instagram it's like yeah but I, I want to be present you gotta post you gotta do this you gotta do that it's not that i don't want to do it i will do it and like there, there, there there's no problem about it and i do love doing it but sometimes it's like i'm not gonna do it because i have to do it i'm gonna do it because i want to do it and honestly like i've made my peace with it and so to conclude here are my two questions for you what is your relationship with social media what is it like please tell me in the comments below and also would you change anything that's it for this video i do hope that we can get the ball rolling the conversation going because these are things that actually like truly interest me and i thought i would share my thoughts with you and let's just keep the conversation going if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it really does mean a lot and if you want to check me out on social media uh, the links are just going to be in the description box and somewhere here on the screen and be sure to check out my other videos if you're interested and i will see you next time bye